Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create a vector effect in Photoshop without using the pen tool. So at first check the image size and make sure white or height is in 3000 pixels for a better result and now copy the layer by pressing ctrl and j and now i want to add the oil paint filter so go to filter and select oil paint if you don't have this filter then check my previous tutorial on how to create oil paint effect without this filter link is on the description or you can follow the icon also so here i am giving 4 for stylization 2.2 for cleanliness 1.8 for e scale and 0.2 for bristol detail now press ok and then again go to filter sharpen and unsharp mask and here i am giving amount 75 percent radius 2 pixels and threshold 2 so now press ok yeah now convert it to a smart object and copy the layer twice by pressing ctrl and z hide the first two layer select layer one then go to filter then filter gallery and on the artistic section select cutout and here i am giving 8 for number of levels and 5 for s simplicity and 1 for s fidelity that's good now press ok then again go to filter sharpen and select unsharp mask and I am giving around 150 for amount and 2 for radius and threshold 0 pixels. Now press OK. And then active the layer 1 copy. Then go to filter then filter gallery and here the value is 8 for number of levels 6 for s simplicity and 1 for s fidelity now press ok and click on this icon double click on this icon and change the opacity around 40 percent now press ok then again go to filter and filter gallery and the value is 8 6 and 2 now press ok and change the value around 35 percent oh 30 percent i think it's good then again go to filter sharpen and unsharp mask and here i am giving amount around 250 percent radius 2 and threshold 0 pixel look at this it looks really good now press ok by the way you can change any setting if you want by double clicking on any option because all these are the smart filters now active the third layer layer 1 copy 2 and good filter then other then high pass and I am giving radius 2 pixels and then change the blend mode to overlay 
it gives you more sharpness you can sense the opacity that's good look at this this was the before and this is the after it looked really good now i want to do some color adjustment then go to levels and i want to add some contrast to it and also some brightness i think this is good then go to vibrance adjustment layer and 25 for vibrance and 9 for saturation that's good then i will add a color lockup and i'm selecting this now decrease the opacity a little bit i think it's fine group of all these and look at this before and after it looks great if you like this video hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe